Hey guys, welcome back. Dan Buchan here again, and we are now on video two of my Shopify series. And again, <clears throat> if you're just tuning in now, what we're doing is we're actually going through and setting up a store from scratch and going through everything from literally point A to point Z in creating a successful Shopify store. So technically right now we're on letter B, right? Today we're going to be sourcing products. And again, I'm going to be using one of the biggest dropship suppliers out there right now called AliExpress. And AliExpress is basically the Chinese version of Amazon. So really you have a huge selection of great products at a fraction of the cost that they would be uh, that they would be sold for in America or on Amazon or any of those uh, the same websites, you know So, you know without further ado, let's just jump into it and let's start sourcing products So if you recall from the last video I was talking about how I wanted to get into the T niche right T is a very popular niche especially in 2016 it's really up there in the trending trends along with matcha and uh, a couple of other you know major T uh, categories or you know I don't want to say brands but it is more so uh, T categories so again T is very very popular so we're gonna be going into T for uh, for our stores niche so without further ado let's actually jump into exactly how I source products so ultimately the first thing I do whenever I land on AliExpress and you know keep in mind I know what niche I want to get into so the first thing I do is I go straight into the search box right here and I just type in T so let's see what we get so right here we have tea infuser tea cup tea strainer teapot tea box that also looks cool um, tea bag tea filter and just regular tea now I don't think I'm gonna want to be I don't I excuse me I don't think I'm going to want to be selling tea because I don't want to sell, you know, dried herbs. I don't want to, you know, have them go bad. I don't want to have them expire or anything like that. So I think I'm going to be sticking to, uh, to, you know, neutral products right now. Um, definitely not edible products or drinkable, sort of like plastic products. So, you know, let's check out tea infuser. So right away, you can see that we have a some awesome, awesome tea infuser. So let's go ahead and select orders, right? And this tells me basically that um, the products I'm seeing right now are the ones that have been ordered the most from the category of tea infusers. So let's go ahead and let's see, let's see which ones have been ordered the most. So right away we have this strawberry tea infuser. We have this really cool umbrella tea infuser. We have this manatee. So let's just grab a couple right off the bat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the manatee. I'm definitely going to grab this. Um, this one right here, what is this, a submarine? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Definitely going to grab this guy over here. Um, let's see if we can find anything else. Something creative, something, you know, unique. Okay, cool, so we have this pug. So um, let's actually grab one more. Let's get a nice even number. So we'll do lollipops. Awesome. Perfect. So we'll come over here and I have a brand new spreadsheet open, right? This is Google Docs. It's uh, accessible to everybody. Um, so I have a brand new spreadsheet open. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to name this um, T Shop Products. And let's go ahead and let's go straight into uh, straight into the category. So the first the category will be niche. And then we'll have uh, actually this will be product name um, and this will be AliExpress price this will be the what's it called the e-packet price because um, if you're not familiar with AliExpress they basically offer a couple different shipping methods you know similar to Amazon and um, the one that you want to be going for is e-packet because e-packet will actually only take about two to three weeks to reach your customer and yes that may seem like a long time but keep in mind the alternatives will take maybe two to three months to reach your customers so really really e-packet is your best bet and your and the best uh, you know the best quality for your money or the best uh, you know it's worth it for your money basically so we have the product name we have AliExpress price we have the e-packet price now let's go ahead let's add our price 
and let's go ahead and add our profits. Now, again, this is the most important section, the profits, right? Because that, because from the profits, we'll be able to tell how much we can actually spend to acquire a purchase. So what does that mean? So say our profits $10, right? We're not going to be spending $12, $14, Per, per purchase because that, that doesn't make sense, right? We're going to be losing money. So by figuring this out all before you create your store, you'll be able to get a good idea of what your profit margins will be so that you can go ahead and set aside a certain budget for your advertising and actually have that, you know, related to some sort of data rather than just guesstimating and putting in a random amount into your budget. So again, this is a much better way and it's also a much better way to keep track of all your profits. So let's go ahead, let's expand that category and let's go into product name. So the first one will be this um, this manatee, right? Um, so we have the manatee, tea infuser. Sorry, let's have to click enter for that. Then I have to paste the link. Then we have um, our submarine so we have submarine tea infuser let's go ahead and add the link and now you see that I'm actually not adding the uh, you know any of these categories and that's because I have a, a VA which is a virtual assistant who will actually you know he's a great guy he'll actually come in and he'll uh, he'll actually fill all this out for me so that I don't have to um, I basically can uh, focus on other things like advertising and actually setting up the website so again he's very very helpful and he uh, he helps me allocate my time and um, if any of you watching are considering getting a VA I would highly recommend it he is a huge tremendous help to me and I honestly don't know how I would do this without him so again shout out to my VA if any of you want one I would highly recommend getting one now you know, without let's without further ado, let's continue. So next we have our Mr. T, uh, T infuser. You know, a little redundant, but it's okay. So then, we have the T infuser. Let's go ahead and copy this link and paste it in here. And next we have the Pug T infuser. So we have Pug T infuser. And again, we'll paste the link. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do, is it? Oh, okay, cool. And then last but not least, we have our lollipop tea infusers. So let's go ahead and type in lollipop tea infuser and paste that in. So again, you know, right off the bat, we have five products and these are just for our tea infuser collection. Now let's go ahead and create another collection. And by doing so, we're actually going to go ahead and look for a different product category, right? Because we don't want to have you know two collections with the same products that just doesn't make sense so let's go ahead and let's go back to aliexpress and let's one more time type in t and let's see what we get so next we have t box right so we have um this option right here so i'm going to click that and i'm going to see what we have in this uh in this category so again what we'll do what we'll do is we'll go into orders and we'll see which one of these has been ordered the most now it looks like some of these are, you know, a either the same as the ones we were just looking at, the tea infusers, or something that I don't even know. Um, so this looks like a refillable coffee capsule. Maybe it's for use with those uh, those coffee machines, but it doesn't really look like it because I know I have one personally, and they punch like the the coffee machine punches a hole in the top of the cap. So I don't know if I can if I'd be able to use that. So I think we'll just skip over that for now. Um, now what we can do though is we can do mugs, right? So look, here's one, here's two, and this right here comes with three different designs already. So that's already you know three products right there. So then we can do let's see, let's see, let's see, and then we can do some handmade glass also. So. Let's just, you know, go down the rest of this page, make sure we're not missing anything super awesome. Um, let's see. This is interesting. What's that? Huh. Tea cigarettes. That's cool. Chinese always coming up with new and innovative ways, huh? Um, okay, so awesome. We have another Poke mug. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Now, let me see what this is called real quick. So this is called the Pokeball Ceramic Coffee Mug. So let's go ahead and see if we can just look up tea mug and see what kind of stuff we get. So we have uh, this Totoro one, we have a Skull one. This is what, Garfield maybe? I'm not sure. Um, so really we're looking, you know, for cool ones, ones that stand out that are unique, like this one. Um, again, I think we already opened that. This is really cool, this is a nice Totoro one. Um, this is a, what, One Piece, I believe? I think so, yeah. So we'll get the One Piece. This is really cool. Um, you can get this one as well. So let's go ahead and let's add these to our list. And remember, okay, so let me just check one thing. So this is $9.09, .09, and this one was $6.90. So let's go ahead and get rid of this one. And let's just start going down the list and basically adding our products to our store. So these are actually really, really cool. Wow. Cool. So let's go ahead, we'll add this product. And again, this is gonna be the uh, Star Wars. Sorry about that, Star Wars slash Iron Man mug. And we'll go ahead and paste the link. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Wow, my, my like, not ADD, what's it called? My, um, OCD is kicking in a little bit and it just didn't look good like that. So I'm going to change it real quick. So Star Wars slash Iron Man mug. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and close out of this and let's just go down the list. Now, what we had, we had a theme of kind of cool mug. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. That's not really that cool. I'm going to get rid of this as well. Um, and now we have the coffee, the Pokeball mug. So cool. We'll add this too. So we have the... Uh, Pokeball mug. Let's go ahead and turn, close that out. And then we have the camera lens mug. And again, I believe I copied that. I really hope I did. I did. Okay, perfect. So, um, hold on. Give me two seconds. Just got to fix up my setup real quick. Okay, cool. We're good to go. So we just did the camera lens mug. Now let's go ahead and do this Totoro mug. Uh, wow, this one looks really cool. I kind of want to buy this for myself. Um, okay, so it looks like this has a bunch of different anime, uh, anime characters. So what we'll do is we'll just call it the anime character mug. Character mug paste the link and again then we have the uh, let's see if this is also different characters now I believe this is only one piece so okay cool so then let's go ahead let's add that as well so we have the uh, one piece mug and one piece is actually uh, an anime show if you didn't know already um, so then this is just some wooden mug. We don't need that. So cool. So we already have. Uh, uh oh. So we already have um, five more products. So let's go ahead and find another five, and uh, we'll call it a day, pretty much. Because really, you know, you don't have to have you know a million collections. Don't think that the more products you put on your store, the more sales you're gonna get. That's not necessarily true. In fact, it's all about. Who sees your product, right? It can be one person who will buy a hundred of them, or it can be a hundred people who buy none of them. It's all about who sees your product. So again, you know, I would recommend keeping your store very small. I would recommend keeping it niche specific instead of um, the alternative, which is, which would be a, a general store. But um, again, that's uh, that's what I have found to work for myself. And what I would strongly recommend for you to do as well. Now, it looks like right now we're just searching T, so that's, I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead back to AliExpress, and again, we'll type in T. So now we have these options, so let's go ahead and let's do T bottles. So this one's probably really cool. So, um, and again, what we'll do is we'll go into orders, and let's see what we can get. So, um... Okay, so we can sell these these funny looking ones. So we have the Don't Touch Me, Mind Bottle. Um, 
Oh, this is really cool. Some space ones. Um, so let's see. Promise me, sure. Um, these this bear one looks really cool. Let's see what else we got. Um, now, if you've noticed, I've been following a theme, right? I'm not going. I'm not getting this metal one, then I'm, then this plastic one, then this glass one, then this wooden one. You know, if I choose a product, say it's um, a plastic bottle, I'm going for all plastic. I'm, or if I do glass, I'm going for all glass. So you really want to be consistent with uh, with whatever you do on your online store, because consistency is key. Consistency is what actually creates you know a trust level between you and your customers and it kind of it it gives them more trust to check out and more trust to actually purchase something through your store so again the whole thing is congruency okay perfect so then we have this Totoro one and let's just oh this one's kind of cool too but um as i was saying yeah congruency is key that's really what you want to shoot for and let's just go ahead and check out the third page super duper quick We'll make sure we're not missing anything cool again. Uh, we have some minion ones, but that's okay. We don't really want that. H2O, um, tea fruit infuser. That's pretty cool. We can check that out. Let's see what else we have. What's this? Oh, okay, I thought it was an actual camera. That's funny. Okay, so it looks like we, uh, you know, we actually didn't miss anything cool. So let's go ahead and let's actually add these products. So this is really cool. This looks like a frosted bottle with, uh, this is my bottle. So that's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and let, let's add that. And again, we'll add that to the tea shop. So we'll call this frosted bottle, um, or frosted. What, what did it say again? It said uh, my bottle or something. My tea. My bottle, right? So. My bottle. Bottle. Again, a little bit redundant, but who cares? So let's go ahead and let's expand that section. Let's paste the link. Perfect. Next, we have the uh, Don't Touch Me bottle. So, this is just a regular uh, Don't Touch Me bottle. And we'll go ahead and paste that. And then we'll do, let's go ahead and get rid of that. This is the really cool, let's see, this is like the bullet one. But the I'm having issues with it because why does it have a spaceship on it i really don't understand that um i mean it's not like it looks really cool but again why does it have a spaceship on it i feel like that's a question my customers would ask um that's pretty badass but uh still nothing telling me why there's a spaceship on here um, I right, might as well take that out. So then we have our promise me bottle. This one looks really cool as well. And remember what I said, these are all, um, you know, clear bottles. So promise me bottle. Let's go ahead and paste that link. Next we have, we have this cute bear bottles. Um, so it's like three designs. You're my bear. Okay, so we'll call this one the cute bear bottle. Let's go ahead and paste that link. And then this one is going to be Totoro bottle. And again, we'll paste that link. And this is pretty much, you know, the, more of the tedious work. And this is the uh, pretty much the most tedious work you'll be doing. Actually, that's not true. 
we'll be doing a little bit more tedious work in the next video but it's okay because after that it gets so much easier now I'm actually gonna go ahead and hmm, let me see if I like these now I'm for sure not gonna get this because it does have Asian text on it and you know that's one clear sign that it comes from China and obviously consumers aren't gonna uh, you know aren't gonna be too happy with that but uh, okay so you see right here is ePacket but again going back to what I was saying about ePacket look at this right here so we have ePacket for $1.58 it will come to your door it will come to your customers door in 12 to 20 days right minimum 12 days maximum 20 days then your next option for $30 is still a minimum of 12 days but a maximum of 21 days so now this is two to three weeks whereas this was you know 12 to 20 days whatever and then the uh you know the option below this would be the free shipping which is 20 days to 38 days with no tracking available so again this this could take up to two months to get to you that's crazy so again, you really, really want to go for the products with ePacket because those are your best bet. And that's really the best way to keep your customers from complaining, you know, too much. So we'll go ahead and we'll add this one as well. And this one will just be the uh, Love You Baby Cup or Love You Baby Bottle. So let's go ahead and type that out. I'm sorry about that. So this is the Love You Love you, baby. So this is the love you, baby um, bottle. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and paste that link. So as you can see right here, we have five products for the tea infusers. We have six products actually for the for the mugs. Because remember the Star Wars, or actually seven products. Because right here, this is three products alone. And I'm actually going to be teaching you how to take the variants and split them into their own individual products to uh, basically maximize your profits. So, again, then we have, so we have five here, five products here, seven products here, and then we also have another five products here. Now, actually, this one came with like five more products, I believe. So... Let me do the math. So this is five. This is three, right? So I believe we have 11 products here, actually. So this is going to be a big category. So we have 11 here, five here, and five here. In total, we have 21 products. So that's really perfect for our brand new niche store. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be going ahead and I'm actually going to be teaching you how to import all of these products. And actually, I'm going to be teaching you how to automate the Im importing process. Again, so I'm going to be teaching you how to, instead of going in manually and creating a new product and a new page, for every single product, I'm going to teach you how to actually import them very, very easily just by using this link. And also, for those of you who are following, you know, very, very closely, for those of you who are literally following my steps and uh, mimicking them and doing them as I do, I'm just going to let you know that uh, right now, before, um, I'm not, this is not going to be recorded, but before the next video, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to have my VA actually fill out this, uh, the, these columns so that I actually know what my uh, price and profit and all that other good stuff is. So again, if you were doing that or if you're following along, you should do that as well before I release the next video, which should be in about two, maybe three days tops. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found great value out of this. I wish you all the best of luck, and I will see all of you in the next video.